Now it's Watson. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And this is incomplete. Oh, he looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. Despite the lead here in the fourth, they're still taking shots. Not content to sit on this lead at all. To me, it raises the question of what's right in this game nowadays. Do you sit on the ball and run it because you have enough of a lead? Or do you try and extend it because you always feel like the other team can come back? Extend it. Have some fun. A big pick up there without question. That should be more than enough to wrap this one up. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now Watson. Oh, he tries to force it in and it's intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it. And it's a pick six. He brings it back to the house from Buccaneer TD. Well, don't change that channel just yet. This one may have gotten a bit more interesting. Put down the remote, put down the clicker. This one looked like it was over. It looked like they were ready to seal the deal. But in doing so, by pitching it around a little bit, it cost them. We could have a great finish. So the clock sits at 16 seconds as they line up for the onside kick. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a camper on this one. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. So the field goal unit is on the field, as this is a big spot right here. And this one is right down the middle. And that will add three more to their lead. It pushes it up. 